Hey everybody! So today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got this messy donut bun on my short hair. You're going to see in the next clip that my hair is only about right here and it has a bunch of layers. This was something that I did not think was going to work out but I did a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would so I said in that video that I was going to be filming how I did it so here I am showing you guys how to do a messy donut bun on short hair this also works on long hair and will be easier to do but this is mainly directed for people who want to get like a top knot type of bun on your really short hair so if you want to see how I did this then just keep watching this video so what you're going to need to do this hairstyle is just a paddle brush. I just have my Cricut Friction Free Paddle Brush here. You're also going to need a headband, one elastic, a crap ton of bobby pins. I probably used between 15 and 20. And then some sort of hairspray. I'm just going to be using Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Hairspray. I'm just going to start by combing everything back. Just like that so that I don't have a harsh part and then I'm going to be taking my headband and then just pulling that to the front and then pushing back then you can kind of push it forward too to give a little bit of volume just in that area if you want then what I'm going to do is take my fingers like this and gather the hair in the back you can go ahead and use that brush and just start pushing all the hair up and then doing the same all the way around. And even though this is messy, I still like to use the brush just because I have such short hair that I need as much hair to go into the ponytail as I possibly can get. So just use the brush and your fingers just to pull everything to as high of a ponytail as you can. Once I have that, I'm going to take that elastic and just wrap that around and then tighten it. Then you have this little Pebbles Flintstone ponytail going on. And then the trick when you have short hair on a hairstyle like this, you need to do everything in smaller sections. The first thing I'm going to be doing is taking a few bobby pins and I'll spin around so you guys can see better. I have these short layers that I know are going to fall out. So you just want to start bobby pinning. Obviously that is not the nicest looking just because I have brown bobby pins, but for me bobby pins don't really bother me. So I'm going to start by taking a piece of hair and what you want to do is leave a little tail just like this and then you want to set the tail against your head. Take a bobby pin and instead of pulling the bobby pin all the way through the hair, I'm just going to put it about halfway through and when you see pieces like this sticking up and you know they're not going to stay down you can bobby pin those pieces down also like I said I have to use a lot of bobby pins for this I'm going to take this hair on the other side and do the same thing leave a little tail put that flat against my head and bobby pin and the same for the front Take a little tail, put it down, and bobby pin. So then you have a lot of holes in there, as you can see. So at this point, what you want to do is take a little bit from that front and pull that over like that and bobby pin that down. Same for the other side. You want to sort of spread it out and bobby pin. You want to just keep doing this all the way around the head. So just spreading hair and pinning it down against the base of the bun. And you can see that I have these little wispy hairs still up. It's going to take those, bend them backwards and pin in the back. 
Then you can take some of them if you see that you need to fill in the front and pin more in the front. So really the majority of this is just moving hair around in bobby pinning. But when you do it, you do want to make sure that when you are looking straight on, you can see your bun on the top part of your head, like right on the crown. If you don't, it's just going to look like all your hair is just slicked back and that is not what you want. So I can still see the bun when I look straight in the mirror. I have a mirror right behind you guys. So I can still see that. But another thing you can do, what I did before, to make sure that you can really see the bun, is you can take the hair that's in front of the bun like this and gather it and just slide a bobby pin in just to keep it down and not as poofy like that and then you can definitely see that you have a bun right on top of your head you can see here in the back that this almost doesn't come all the way around I'm going to take this hair pull it toward the back and then pin it You can see that I do have a few little wispies here. You can leave them. I'm going to pin it down. I want it to be messy, but I don't want little porcupine pieces of hair sticking straight up. Then you want to take your hairspray and then just spray all over. You can also like pat on the bun and just on your hair because that will also help to get rid of some of those flyaways. And then that is how I do a messy donut bun on my really short hair. As you could see in the beginning, my hair is only about right here with a bunch of short layers. My layers are probably about ear level. So I think that this is pretty good for only having the small amount of hair that I do. I think the bun obviously is pretty small. But for most people with short hair, I think this is a really cute thing. And like I said in my makeup tutorial, if you haven't watched that, for a makeup look like this, I think it's really nice to get the hair up and out of your face so that makeup is the center of attention. So I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you would. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye everybody.